Welcome to TechBrother with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to drop user in MySQL server. So we will do two things. I have a MySQL server installed in Windows machine and I also have a MySQL server installed on Linux machine. We will drop the user from both MySQL servers which are installed on Windows and Linux. So let's go to Windows first. First of all, we will start the command line from here and then let me see the path for the MySQL command line. So it is on C and uh, then you will go to the program files and uh, go to program files here you have mysql then you have mysql server then you have bin and that's where your mysql command line is so i'm going to copy this path and open a command line so i will open command prompt and then i will say cd and to this path then I will uh, connect uh, to the MySQL uh, server by using uh, my root uh, username and password. So dash p db123. Okay, I'm connected uh, to the MySQL server now. I can uh, do select host uh, comma user from MySQL dot user. So if I run this command, I can see the list of the users here. Okay, great. Now what I have to do here, I I, I want to drop this uh, test user. So what? What command I will use? I will say drop user and then say username. So I a single quotes test one and then at the rate local host. Local, sorry. Host. That's all. So you will be saying drop user and then the username with the single quotes at the rate and then you have a single quotes and provide the host from where it is connecting if it is ip or something and you will change it to the ip all right so let's run this command and the query is completed let's run the previous query to see if the test one has been deleted so we can see that the test has been test one has been deleted all right now we'll go to the linux box and perform the same steps there first of all we'll go to the linux box we we'll use putty to connect to the linux box node 1 okay I always uh, do these uh, small small steps because uh, sometimes when you are new you and don't know where to navigate and uh, how to get to your uh, uh, Linux box or uh, you know how to connect from different machines where uh, you, you, any other machine so uh, that's why I perform all these small steps uh, but if you are if you know that like you can skip some part of that always uh, okay so now we are connected to the Linux box uh, but we have to connect to the MySQL to delete our user so I'm gonna go to the MySQL server by using root and uh, provide the password sorry okay so we are connected to the mysql server now i'm going to clear the screen so i will run the same command host comma user from mysql dot user and we are on a linux machine just to let you guys know that so you can see right here that's our linux machine where we have installed the mysql okay so now we would like to remove the test user that has the permission to connect to the mysql from the local host so i'm going to say drop user so drop user single quotes test at the rate local host okay if you notice that uh, we have another test uh, the user that has permission to connect this mysql server from 10.0.0.5 that's our windows machine so if you want to remove that uh, if your requirement is okay we want to uh, delete a test user that has permission to connect to mysql server from uh, this ip then you will be doing uh, instead of local host you will be doing a 10.0.0.5 here okay but this uh, the command will pretty much same drop user and then uh, username and then at the rate local host or uh, your whatever the ip of your the host is that you would like to delete okay all right so now we are good here if we run the statement again and you can see that the test at the rate local host has gone still we have tests that can connect from 10.0.0.5 ip all right so uh, run the flush privilege that will uh, just refresh uh, the permissions so flush p all right okay now uh, all the permissions will be uh, refreshed and that's all you will be doing uh, in this case uh, in bo both the cases i was running this commands uh, from uh, our uh, um, mysql uh, command line if you have workbench installed you can also perform these uh, actions from there so if you go to the workbench you are connected to any instance let's say 
um, open our connection so let's say this is my windows connection and here i will go to the users and privileges and select the user and just delete it so it will ask me do you want to delete it yes okay so it will delete that user same way if you don't want to use this windows you can always go to the new query and simply say drop user the same way you did like test at the rate localhost or whatever the ip of that machine you have it okay so you can use the command from the workbench itself that you ran on the mysql command line or you can use the their wizard to drop and create users here or you can use the, the mysql command line to do the um, drop of users thanks very much for watching this video subscribe if you like and i will see you guys in next video